How's it going everyone and welcome to my five worst types of players in Brawlhalla video. Before we jump in, I just want to say that this list is my own personal opinion. I'm not trying to offend anybody and you can play the game however you want to. Also, feel free to drop comments and let me know if you agree or disagree with my list. At number one, we have The Spammer. This is probably the most obvious and talked about type of player in Brawlhalla. We've all encountered this person, we've all complained about this type of person, and at one point in our Brawlhalla career, we probably were this person. The spammer is the type of person who likes to repeat the same one or two moves over and over and over again, regardless of if it is working to win the game or not. This person usually is just a new player to the game, hasn't yet learned that spamming is typically predictable and easier to punish than if they were using a wide variety of attacks. However, you may encounter the spammer even in higher ranks of gameplay, though once you get to platinum or diamond rank, this type of person typically goes away because of the weaknesses to the playstyle. So what is it about this player that makes them so bad? Well. For most players, it's just annoying to play against because it feels cheap or broken when you keep getting hit by the same attack over and over. Even more so because you know you should be good enough to not let the spammer win. And if you lose, you may find yourself in a salt-induced coma of rage. No matter how you look at it, nobody likes fighting a spammer. Is it a viable strategy in the game? I guess. Is it good enough to get you to diamond? Maybe? Are you gonna have any friends once you get there? Probably not. At number two, we have the wall hugger. Ah, uh, yes, the wall hugger. This is the type of person who loves going for offstage kills, typically with scythe, gauntlets, or any other weapon they feel like being the god of gimps with. They love offstage fighting so much, they will jump on the wall over and over without coming back onto the stage, waiting for you to leave your place of safety and dominance, hoping you will jump off and attack them instead. Thankfully, BMG nerfed wall hugging so that you can only jump on the wall so many times before it becomes slippery and eventually you fall, but it can be still annoying even today. The wall hugger may be going for clips, they may be going for style, maybe they're just scared of coming back on the stage to fight you. Either way, wall hugging is annoying and that is why it makes the list of the worst type of players in Brawlhalla. At number three, we have the rude person, slash the BMer, slash the sore loser, slash the sore winner. So this type of player can exhibit a wide variety of characteristics, such as taunting excessively, insulting or harassing other players in post-game chat, attacking during opening salute. You get the picture. They just don't care that you're another human being trying to enjoy a video game. Their goal is to make you miserable and uninstall the game. Okay, maybe I'm being too dramatic here. Most BMers aren't that goal oriented. They just don't care whatsoever about the other human beings that play the game with them. You may as well be a CPU to them. This is the type of person who was never taught the concept of sportsmanship or the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Now, I realize that sometimes when people are going through hard times in life, or under a lot of stress, they can sometimes exhibit the behavior of the BMer. We've probably all been there or we will be at some point in our lives. When you encounter a BMer, the worst thing you can do is fight fire with fire because the more you do that, the more likely you will end up becoming that very thing you dislike in the first place. Instead, kill them with kindness and move on. The Brahala community is only as good as we make it together. If you are a victim of extreme harassment, however, I recommend that you report the player. We don't need toxicity in this game or its community. At number four, we have the throw pro. The throw pro is a type of person who relies heavily on throwing their weapon at you as a way to start a combo or string or even just to mess you up for a second. 
The Throw Pro is very confident in their ability to fight unarmed because they don't care if they lose their weapon when they're throwing it at you constantly. Now, to be fair, the Throw Pro is probably the least offensive type of player on this list because throwing your weapon can be a very effective strategy to win games, not only for new players, but even in the pro scene. The difference between a pro and a throw pro is how often this move is used in a match. I don't think most players mind if someone throws their weapon every now and then. It's when the throwing becomes like spamming that it starts to ruin the fun. But Lucian, I can play the game however I want. Yes, you can play the game however you want, but keep in mind, as with spamming in general, weapon throw spamming is actually not that great of a strategy because it becomes predictable and it can leave you weaponless. Again, spamming one or two moves is limiting your options and you become easier to predict. In the end, the throw pro made this list not because it's a good strategy or not, it's just annoying to play against. And at number 5, we have the Passive King. You load up Brawlhalla, ready to experience some awesome 1v1 combat, only the person you are fighting refuses to engage, and they only attack after you do. Confused, you eventually stop attacking first to see if they will take a shot at attacking you first for a change. But instead, as you watch in shock and horror, they stubbornly refuse to engage. Instead of having an epic battle, you now stand on opposite ends of the stage, staring at each other, waiting for the other person to make the first move. The seconds tick by, and more and more pressure builds. You decide you must fight passive with passive, and not give in first. The seconds tick by, and you start to wonder if the game will go into overtime. More time ticks by, and you start to wonder why you play this game. More time ticks by, and you start to lose brain cells. If you make it to overtime, congratulations. You just became that which you were supposed to destroy. In all seriousness, the passive king is probably the most complained about player next to the spammer. When most people load up Rahala, it's because they are simply looking to have some fun. Going up against a passive king is not fun. Now, I can't completely hate on the passive king because after all, they are just trying to do what they think is the best way to win the game. Or they just want to make your experience hell, it's hard to know. You are more likely to encounter this type of player in ranked, especially in the gold or platinum level. Most players that adapt the passive king style eventually learn that being carefully aggressive is actually better. Oddly enough, the throw pro is actually a viable counter to the passive king because the passive king likes to have a little bit of distance between players. So you should just keep throwing things at them and then eventually, usually, they will engage. Alright guys, and that is my 5 worst types of players in Brawlhalla. I just want to reiterate, I'm not trying to call anybody out, I'm sure most of us have been one or all of these types of players at some point. I think that we're all just trying to have some fun, and sometimes we forget that. You know, Brawlhalla is a fighting game, and fighting games are competitive in nature, nobody likes to lose. Just remember, it's only one button press to say GG at the end of the match. We're all in this together. We are a small community, us Brawlhallers. We need to stick together if we want to survive and continue to grow and invite new players to the game, which in turn helps the developers make more money, which in turn makes the game even better for all of us to enjoy. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I make Brawlhalla content all the time, so I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. You may like my future videos too. Did you guess all the types of players that made my list? Did I miss one? Do you disagree with me? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. As always guys, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy guys.